Welcome to Let's Make a Deal, the game show where you could use math to win big prizes. I'm your host, Dr. Wesselcouch. Today on Let's Make a Deal, we'll be studying the famous Monty Hall problem. So let's get started. The game is simple. There are three doors to choose from. Behind one of the doors, the red door in this case, is a brand new set of netherite armor. Behind the other two doors, just goats. So in this case, red is the winning door, and blue and green are both losers. The contestant selects a door, so here he selected the red door, and then I as the host show that there was a goat behind, let's say, the blue door in this case. And so I give the contestant the option, would you like to keep your original red door or switch to the green door? Again, they don't know which door has the netherite armor behind it. So here the contestant picked the green door, and so he gets teleported to the switch and lose category, since if he kept his original door, he would have won. So the big money question is, is it better to keep your original door or switch? Or does it not matter? Let's do the math to figure that out. There are three doors to choose from. And without loss of generality, let's say the prize is behind door number three. So goats are behind doors one and two. If the contestant chooses door number one, then I will open door two showing a goat. The contestant now decides between keeping door one or switching to door three. If they keep, they lose. And if they switch, they win. Similarly, if the contestant originally picks door number two, they lose if they keep, and they win if they switch. The only time the contestant wins when keeping their original door is if they select door number three. So to recap, in theory, the contestant will win two thirds of the games in which they switch and one third of the games in which they keep their original door. Therefore, switching is the better strategy in theory. So now that we have a theoretical result, Let's see if it holds in practice. Using command blocks, we will spawn in creepers into the top room. And remember, the prize is behind the red door. If the creeper walks to the blue door, it will be teleported to the room on the left. It now has the option of staying with the blue door or switching to the red door. If it chooses blue, it will be teleported to the keep lose room. If it chooses red, it will be teleported to the switch win room. A similar thing will happen if the creeper originally picks green. Here green is keep lose and red is switch win. If the creeper originally selects red, then it's teleported to this room. Here, green is switch lose, and red is keep win. It's time to play Let's Make a Deal. Any injuries to the creepers was done in the name of science. Let's see if our results match the theory. Remember, in theory, 
If you keep your door, you're expected to win 33.33% of the time. In practice, the creepers that kept their door won 33.06%. That's really close. And in theory, if you switch, you're expected to win 66.67% of the time, where in practice, the creepers that switched won 6702 That's also really close. I think it's fair to say that our theoretical solution to the Monty Hall problem is correct. You definitely want to switch doors. You're much more likely to win if you do that. Anyway, the next time one of your friends says that the Monty Hall problem is a 50-50 chance, show them this video and then they'll be convinced. And let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for a future Math & Minecraft episode. I always love hearing from you. Smash the like button before you get out of here. Alright, bye bye.